what we didn't know is that we are the ones deciding which kind of cells are being born in our bodies. We are the ones to decide to which kind of realities we are emerging. Hey guys, my name is Joyce and welcome to my channel, The Project Joy. How are you today? Well, today we are going to continue the, ex the explanation about the geometry of existence. And for those of you that are coming here for the first time, welcome. Uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up down here and to subscribe and activate the bell so that you can know always when you're going to have a new video, okay? And also, I usually say uh, for you to go look to the other videos and watch the other playlists before watching this video so that you can understand my line of thought. But today I'm going to resume everything that I'm trying to explain and I think that you're going to understand very easily where I want to get. So after this video, of course, you go there and watch the other videos and the other playlists so that you can understand what I'm actually trying to explain, okay? So in the last video, we were talking about how it would look like if we could get out of the universe and we could see everything from outside. What would be the view that we could have of the universe if we could get out of everything? But today we are going to do this from the other side. We are going to look at it from our perspective. So when we talk about our bodies, when we talk about matter itself, we have to always remember that we are composed by organs that, that are composed by cells, that are composed by atoms. So we are not actually just the body. We are a combination of cells and atoms that are formed in a way to give us this body. And the same way that happened to a human body, it also happened to everything else around us. Of course, that the combination of cells that we have, a combination of atoms that we have on our bodies are going to be different of the combination of uh, atoms that we have on a wall, for example. The combination is going to be different, but the consciousness is going to be the same. Our consciousness, we just have a different way to express it, but everything in our universe has consciousness, as we said on the other videos. So when we look to the body, we have to think as if we were just a collection of thoughts. And then, as, a, as we have been saying, that we are always changing uh, realities uh, thousands of times per second, we have to understand how this happens inside of our bodies. And it becomes very clear when we understand that every day there are millions of cells that die in our body and there are millions of cells that, that get born in our body. Which means that it's just like if we are living the old bodies and getting into new bodies all the time. Think with me, guys. Um, if we had always the same body our whole lives, once we are born, our cells would be born with us and then the, they would die with us, right? The cycle of life of our cells would be the same cycle of life of our own life, which means that we would have the same body since birth until death. But that doesn't happen. What we see is that there are millions of cells that die every day and millions of cells that are born every day. Which means that it's just like there are parts of our body that are living in some realities and another parts of our body that are living in a different reality. For those of you that are, have, have been watching the other videos, uh, I told you that the best way to explain how this movement through parallel realities. The best way to explain it, it's through the, the movies. For us to make a movie, to give, to put one second of movie, we have to put a few frames and put them together. So to give us the perception of movement, right? And that's literally the only way to demonstrate movement in the universe. That's exactly what is happening in our parallel realities. And like I told you, it's just like if you had a camera 
jumping from parallel reality to parallel reality thousands of times per second to give our brains the perception of movement. But the other part that um, we didn't understand and I also didn't understand, I, I just figured it out recently. What is actually happening is that the realities are all overlapped. So once we are moving, when we move, parts of our body are left behind and parts of our body are beginning to emerge. So it's just like we are entering a new reality thousands of times per second. But what we don't understand is that it's just part of our cells that are doing this. Part of our cells are left behind, part of our cells are staying, and part of our cells are being created. What we didn't know is that we are the ones deciding which kind of cells are being born in our bodies. We are the ones to decide to which kind of realities we are emerging. Because this decision of jumps to each reality are decided depending on our thoughts, emotions and beliefs. And not forgetting that what is actually moving is only our consciousness, which means that everything there is in our mind Everything that we believe that we are, everything that we believe that we are living is the only thing that we are actually going to live. So when we think about parallel realities, we can literally calculate what kind of jumps and what kind of movement that we are actually doing. After a while, or looking this from uh, another point of view, we can actually measure what kind of jumps that we are doing collectively. Which means that we can literally predict the future by a calculation. Mm -hmm. And that's also why that there are so many people that can actually see the future, for example. Because all the visions about the future that everyone has or everyone had before, they are all true. They all actually happened. The thing is that we are jumping from reality to reality and sometimes we change the path of our energy the path of our future and sometimes we connect to a future and that future doesn't happen because we change the course of the energy we change the course of our future there's no such thing like destiny we are the ones deciding always what is going to happen to us sometimes and but then there's another part of this story that we need to understand as well which is there are some people and there are some situations in our lives that are that we can say that were by destiny but it's not that there was destiny there was something destined it's just because you put that in your life before you were born you were the one that programmed that to happen to you before you are born but you don't remember that but then that's another story so yeah the best way to understand this how parallel realities actually work and how we are jumping from parallel reality to parallel reality is to understand that we are literally leaving bodies behind and new bodies are emerging all the time inside of us we are this collection of cells that are having their own lives inside of us and we are the cells of this collective mind that it is the universe so about the parallel reality it's just like if everything that is matter everything that is physic is frozen in time and space all the matter is frozen in time and space and the only thing that is moving is the consciousness is the mind of the cell the mind of the atom that is actually moving but the body it always stays and remains in the same place forever that's how the parallel realities are happening and just like we said everything that is happening be uh, inside it it's also uh, happening outside uh, 
that's why we have for so many years astrology because astrology is the best way to guide us through what kind of energies that we are going to live in the next few years or the next few weeks the best comparison that we can do to explain what astrology means to us is just like if let's say for example we are going to a fight okay we are going to start a fight and when we are start about to start a fight our brains releases the information to our cells to inform the rest of the body and to prepare the rest of the body for that fight and that goes through adrenaline this information is the adrenaline that the brain is sending to the whole body okay so that we can have this preparation to defend ourselves about what is about to happen and astrology is just like if the brain of the universe is sending the information to the cells which is us to tell us what kind of energies what kind of things that we have to face in, in, in the future from the beginning of times we've always knew this we always knew that everything that is happening outside in the stars are telling us something about us and the thing is that everything that is happening outside this movement of planets are directly affecting how we are going to live our lives but we don't know this consciously we only have the feeling we only understand the energy and that happens unconsciously our cells have this knowledge but we don't know it uh, consciously it's all unconscious but it can become conscious we can actually understand once we start to understand what kind of energies we are going through what kind of movements of the planets and transits that are happening we understand what kind of energies there are going to be uh, emerging on the, the next few weeks or months and with all this information we can predict what kind of movement that we are going to have we can e either predict the future of our own selves and we can also predict the future of the whole world but anyway guys uh, this video is getting a little bit longer already I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any doubts any questions please don't forget to leave here in the comments and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe and activate the bell so that you can know always when we are going to have a new video, okay? And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well because I really like to post other things over there like my paintings and the things that I like to write. And yeah guys, um beijo no coração!